What's up guys, welcome to the video. I am Ryan Knows Tech with our website techinform.us and I'm going to take um, a couple requests that I got in yesterday's video where I talked about different screen resolutions on the MacBook Pro. You can pay to increase the screen resolution on the 15 inch from its standard 1440 by 900 resolution uh, with a glossy screen to the higher resolution in your choice of the matte screen or the glossy screen. Right there, we've got the early 2011 15-inch MacBook Pro with the high-resolution screen, which is 1680 by 1050, in its glossy form factor um, regarding the screen. That's a $100 upgrade to get the glossy screen, and I believe $150 to get the uh, high-res and anti-glare, or the matte finish display. Now I have both monitors out here. The MacBook Pro, is, as you can probably tell, you can always tell a glossy Mac because it has the black uh, very high quality finish looking, anyways, um, bezel around the display, similar to an iPhone. iPhones are glossy displays. Uh, this happens to be a white one, but this whole finish here is a very high gloss finish. You can see the reflection of something in there, and there's the display in the reflection of the back of the iPhone here. Now, the other monitor over here, this is an Asus VH232H or something like that. It's a 23 inch 1080p. Uh, monitor, a couple years old now, but it's been a relatively good device, and it is a matte finish display. Being in here in an office with the windows behind the screen, as you can see, the matte finish was fine. So this video is going to talk about which display is going to be better for you in the conditions of which you're going to use it in. Is it worth paying that $50 upgrade? Having said that, there's not a clear-cut answer to any individual type of user. It's going to totally depend on where you use your, your computer um, and if it's a laptop or a desktop. Most desktop displays are a matte finish. I know Apple has the Thunderbolt and the Cinema Display, which are both well, essentially the same thing, but uh, they are glossy displays. You cannot get them in the matte version. Now, the matte version is going to be much better. Uh, number one, regarding fingerprints, the glossy display is an absolute fingerprint magnet, just like an iPod Touch or an iPhone or an iPad, that's also a glossy display device. Uh, the matte display is going to be a little bit better with fingerprints, but that's probably not why you're buying it. You're probably buying it to use in outdoor conditions. That's the primary benefit of a matte display, is if you take it outside, it may not be any brighter, or actually I think it's less bright in the experiences that I've had with it. Uh, when compared to the glossy display, but outside you're not going to have all the reflections and, well, quite frankly, distractions that are going to make it very difficult for you to view the display as you would with a glossy screen. I've used my MacBook Pro outside maybe three or four times. I usually used it inside if I'm going to be on the computer, and um, it's always been fine. And the reason I went with the glossy display over the matte screen when I picked this up in July of 2011 was primarily, honestly, because of this black bezel. I like the way it's flush with the screen. It looks really nice, and that's what I cared about more since I don't use the device outside. Uh, the matte display has a um, gray plastic bezel here instead. A, a lot of 17-inch models that I see are 17-inch MacBook Pros are the matte screen, which is the $150 upgrade. Um, which stands the same on the 15 and the 17 inch. I think the prices are the same to upgrade. And they call it an upgrade because it does add the feature or the functionality that you can use it outside without getting all of the different reflections and the lights in the background. If I were to completely dim this display, you will see a very clear reflection of, well, here's my tripod and everything here in the screen. Now, if I were to adjust my light, which I may not because it's on a pretty limited cord, you can probably see all the reflections and and here's the light in my hand. With the glossy screen device, you wouldn't get that. If I were to turn off this monitor here, naturally you're gonna see uh, a little bit on the bigger screen now, which obviously needs to be clean. You do see a little bit of light, but you can't see my hand in it like you can with the other computer. So looking at them both right now, you can totally see the difference of how the mat just, there's a little bit of reflection in terms to light, but not the things that the light would be illuminating. Trees in the background, cars, anything that happens to be um, facing you. It's almost like having a camera on. So if you use your product outside, quite often I would recommend that you go with the matte displayed product and pay the premium to get that. Uh, if you don't, personally, I like the colors better on the glossy display. I think it looks better. Um, and for me, I think that's always what I'm going to go with unless I should 
find an office somewhere that has huge amounts of light that would be facing the screen and then I would always have to have the brightness up and that's going to kill the battery. So for me, I'm a glossy display user. I, th I think it looks better. Uh, not only the colors on the display itself, uh, but just the way the bezel around the screen is flush with the visible part of the screen. So leave your comments and thoughts down below. What do you like? I know I, I've used both. I've had matte display computers. I've had a couple ThinkPads that were matte displays. And to me, they always just felt dimmer. The colors were more washed out. And I never used them in outdoor or very light environment environments. I'm in Ohio. We don't get a lot of sun here. So uh, that is my two cents on that. I hope it helped. Check out our tech blog, techinformed.us. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. Links are down below. And please subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more Mac and maybe some PC-related content in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys uh, probably tomorrow on Friday or if not uh, on Monday. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.